Hello everyone, same sweater. I'm not fooling anyone. Um, I figured I'd just do this little intro outro to my very next piece of my body care collection. This is going to be my shower gels, my moisturizing body, moisturizing body washes, and my scrubs. Now these are pretty much all Bath and Body Works. I don't believe, I mean, I have a few like native body washes that I recently got, but um, I don't really have a lot right now on hand because again, I don't really collect them. And I really wasn't collecting shower gels like that. Um, this last sass, because that was an item that I had the least of, that was the only item I let myself purchase. So now that has also become quite a big collection. Um, so I actually have a count here for you. My scrubs and shower gels, I have 70 shower gels. And I promise you about half of those came from sass this winter. I have 12 scrubs, all from Bath & Body Works, I think. Um, we'll see when we get into that footage and then 10 moisturizing body washes. So 92 products that I have on hand and I probably at least brought 20 of them in this semi-annual sale. Not that that's really, I mean, there was still a lot, but I'm just saying that was a lot of product. I was really surprised by that. It does feel like two and a half drawers of my little storage section again, because I'm spoiler alert, I get it. I do get up off the floor, but we went down to the drawer system that I have under my desk and that's where I keep all my backup storage. Um, everything that's not in the project use it up or something new I'm reviewing, testing, and like want to talk to y'all about goes in there in a certain way. So I have everything separated. So I know where, you know, what drawers are getting too full. I only have one backup drawer out of all nine that has mists in it mostly and a couple of body cream. And I keep that back up in with the mist because I want to know that I have more than one. So if I'm looking in my drawers and I see a backup or I see that lotion, I'm like, oh, this, I already have another one. I need to use this one. Um, because you know, when you're sensitive to your favorite and you're not sure it's going to come back, we hold on to it. But I say use your products. So um, let's jump in to me sharing with you the scrubs, the moisturizing body washes and the shower gels. And then I'll come back at the end to say goodbye. Hey guys, so we are going to jump right into my shower gels, body scrubs, and all that fun stuff and kind of uh, finish out this collection video. You're going to have to let me know down below, do you guys want to see other parts of my collection? Like, of course I have hand soaps, I have some minis, I have some f home fragrance, but I wouldn't want to put you through me going through my home fragrance stuff. I mean, you've already seen the candle collection, fine fragrance mist collection, the perfume collection. So if you're over the collection videos, let me know. Or if you would like to see what I have in minis or, you know, I have a lot of wallflowers. I have a lot of soaps, but I don't plan to make that video unless you guys want it. Because again, I don't want to make content that you're not interested in. So this drawer is mostly lotions and Victoria's Secret fine fragrance mist. And you guys have seen all that, but I thought I would quickly share just a few shower items I have in here. Um, I do have a few of these oils I just picked up recently during the um, some annual sale. So I have them for trying out this um, summer. I still need some moisturization in the summer, but I need something lightweight because anything else, the scent gets too heavy. So I have the cocoa oil. I have the honey cranberry oil. And then I have the honey oil. And I don't know if I'll be able to use all three of those in one summer, but they were on sale. And then I did just pick up these uh, native body washes. I'm currently using the Thin Mint Cookie one. I think it's called Mint Chocolate Cupcake. So this will be next, but these are really good. I actually really enjoy them in the shower more than I thought I would. And then I have a, a candy cane one back here. So let me get out the next bin and I will be right back. I just wanted to start with this one because I already had it. All right, guys. So this is the shower gel collection. It does seem like quite a bit. I know. I did pick up quite a few this um, semi-annual sale because I truly had like less than a bin when semi-annual sale came around this winter and then I just ended up finding so many that I wanted so let's just jump right in so we'll start over here I have a strawberry pound cake from uh, fall farmhouse like 2020 this is our fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream and then I have a champagne toast in the faceted because again like I said I have this in everything and then I have beachfront blanket. I just finished up a beachfront blanket. So this is the fresh linen summer sunrays and soft musk. So this is just like our magic laundry scent. 
And then I have a coconut candy apple. I know I just picked this up at Sass. This is candied red apple, shredded coconut, and vanilla spice. I adore this scent much more than I thought I would. I thought it was going to be winter candy apple. And you know how Bath & Body Works repackages on us? And it wasn't. And I was like shocked. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I probably prefer this the most in the shower gel because it just dissipates a little bit before I get going with all the rest of my stuff. Dark Kiss. I love this. Just Kayla Michelle made me buy this. No, I haven't used it yet. Um, black Raspberry, Burgundy Rose, Bergamot Incense, Dark Vanilla Bean, Plum Musk. I know I picked this up at Sass, so I just haven't had a chance to. Because I made my project use it up so shower gel heavy. It's something I'll correct in the next one. Sunset Glow is another one I just picked up um, at one of the Sass sales. Fresh Coconut, Sparkling, Cherry Salsa, Dreamy Moonflower, and Caramelized Vanilla. I really get a lot of vanilla, coconut, and um, cherry in that one. So then this is my absolute favorite bonfire bash packaging they ever did. So I just don't use this. Even though it's like black um, shower gel, it doesn't stain your body. This is vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. I love that. Wrapped in sunshine is another really good one from fall. Golden citrus, white peach, and blonde woods. Okay, this one is A Thousand Wishes. I always have this in everything in my collection. Pink Prosecco, Sparkling Quince, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, Amaretto Cream. We know this one, right? We love her. And then I have Coastal Hydrangeas. I was really surprised at how much I like this. Fresh Hydrangeas, um, Ocean Mist, Golden Apple. It is a little bit like pink tie-dye to me, but it is different. But I'm just saying like kind of the same freshness with a little hint of apple. Sun, uh, sunrise Woods. I love this scent, you guys. You know, Creamy Sandalwood, Sweet Berries, Cozy Cashmere. Another one. Fireside Flurries. I was picking these up with free rewards, uh, with free coupons, but now the coupons are like for hand cream. Toasted Marshmallow, Pink Lavender, Cashmere Woods. Look at you guys. I told you. I just have sets of the ones I absolutely adore. Whipped Rose Latte. Last little set here, Raspberry Tangerine. I can't tell you how many of these I've gone through. It's just one of my favorites to kind of like reset and start over. Cozy Sunday Morning. I picked this up at Sass because everything was like 75% off from day one. This I like, but I haven't used it in the shower yet. Fresh Lavender, Creamy Vanilla, Soft Sandwood. I think I'll love it though. I have a Blueberry Sugar Pancakes. Vanilla Mocha Cream. This one's just like Cappuccino Deliciousness. Christmas cookies that I didn't get used and Christmas is over. Cotton candy love. So I did order quite a few shower gels online. That's why they're wrapped up still. Hope winter peach marshmallow and a marshmallow pumpkin latte, which actually belongs up here, but that's okay. Moving on to the, oh, sorry if that was really awful. The next bin here. Look at all that shower gel. <laughs> well, we have a boardwalk taffy, another boardwalk taffy. A summertime surf. I'll sip area of the notes at this point. Endless weekend. A pink watermelon at the beach. Pink watermelon. Sorry, my phone turned off. And another pink watermelon. So I have like four pink watermelon. So that's definitely going to need to go on a project, use it up. The next row here, I have a peach prosecco macaron. I have a bubbly rose. Raspberry jam donut. Twinkling Nights, which I love. Strawberry soda. So lots of stuff to work through this year. Mango Mai Tai, because again, this stuff didn't even get used. It's still wrapped up. Cherry Limeade. And I mean, you guys have seen I use up stuff in watermelon lemonade. So again, I was buying complete sets. I'm really trying to break that habit because we always have stuff we can mix and match. Fresh Coconut and Cotton. Um, this is new and I love it. I just haven't really gotten a chance to break into this. Co uh, coconut, Coastal Breeze, and Beachside Cotton. And a lot of these scents I can mix together. Pink Tie-Dye. I love this one with Perfect Peony. I always say that when I see it. Uh, Firecracker Pop Shower Gel. Cotton Candy Cloud Shower Gel. Oahu Coconut Sunset Shower Gel. We haven't shown this one yet, so let's look at the notes. Coconut Blossom, Sparkling Bergamot, Beach Tuberose, Hawaiian Minoy, and Molten Amber. This is just so sweet and pretty for a coconut scent. It's perfumey. It's not like just your tropical coconut drink type of thing. I do have a Gingham Love Shower Gel, Champagne Sprinkles, Berry Waffle Cone, Raspberry Jam Donut. Are we seeing a theme here? Belize Tropical Cabana, 
uh, frosted coconut snowball. I probably need to go in the other one, but that's okay. It fits over here. Uh, coconut pineapple love and midsummer dream, which I'm actually just finishing up one of those as well. So I am trying to work through my backup collection. I'm not just getting rid of everything to buy new, but things that I have backups and backups of, I am trying to declutter. So you will see that video very soon, but I have one more drawer of shower gels and other things. So let me get that for you all. All right, you guys, here are my scrubs. These are all from Bath and Body Works, I do believe. And then I have some moisturizing body wash over. And if I'm huffing and puffing, it's because I have been moving these things around so much that I've just like, I feel like I got a real workout today. So this is Sweet Whiskey Celestial Body Scrub. These are very light. Um, definitely not abrasive whatsoever. So I really enjoyed this scent. I have a marshmallow pumpkin latte. I got a lot of these with rewards. I think they're like, yeah, 1650. So this one's good. This is a foaming sugar scrub. So just a tiny bit more, not, I don't want to say the word abrasive, but the celestial scrubs don't scrub. They're just kind of more like a moisturizing body wash, but like just a different texture. But the sugar scrubs give you a little, I don't have any of the sand scrubs or anything. The creamy body scrubs, again, this is more like a moisturizing body wash, pink berry clouds, and um, there's the notes on that. And then I have two of A Thousand Wishes, and this is a glowing body scrub. Again, not really anything in here to scrub, so you'll be disappointed. <laughs> and then I have two of those. And then I have this one from last year. This is exfoliating um, body scrub, but this has watermelon extract. This smells so good. Um, this one's a little bit more, but not anything like you could use it every day. And then I picked up Gingham Love Body Scrub with a reward. This is the foaming sugar. So just a little bit more exfoliating. No big deal. Nothing too serious. This is the strawberry pound cake sugar scrub. So again, a little bit of exfoliation. And then the Sunrise Woods Creamy Body Scrub. I picked up a lot of those at SAS. And then I have an A Thousand, a thousand Wishes Moisturizing Body Wash. I have a snowflakes and cashmere, and this is just kind of how I store them so they kind of lay flat because I'm crazy and I think I need a system. Coco Shea, um, I really need to use this in coconut. This is so good though. This is the only piece I could find at Summer Sass like two years ago, or maybe it was Winter Sass two years ago, but it's been a minute. At the beach, I just got this last summer. I haven't used it yet, but I do love it. Then I just have a coconut, but this has got vanilla in it. I want to see if there's a notes on here. Yeah, coconut milk, sea salt, and fresh vanilla. So this is kind of more of like a coconut vanilla scent, which they are coming out with, I think, this year, which is cool. Sunset Glow, again, like cherry vanilla, coconut. Super good. All these are like summer ready. Um, and then we have a strawberry pound cake from like big shop. So this is so strong though. It really is a nice one to use, but like I use it in between light ones because it's so strong. And then I have a gingham love because this is my favorite form of gingham. I love this one. Here's the notes. It's a uh, sugared red berry, blushing freesia and rosemary. Just a really light, pretty floral, fruity scent. Um, let's see that way. And then you guys know I love Dahlia because of the praline. I love it so much. And Tonka Bean. It is heavier. It's not too heavy, though. I like it a lot. And then I have one Into the Night. Look at that packaging. Isn't that stunning? That's why some of these I can't use. I will. I will use them. But the packaging, like, makes me put it back in here when I'm looking for one. So those that's it. So I have 60 shower gels. And it looks like 3, 6, 9, about 10 moisturizing body washes. And three, six, nine of the scrubs. So that's not horrible. Um, and then I have a couple of scrubs and things going in my shower. So this isn't absolutely everything, but it's a good chunk of it. So I'm going to let you guys go talk to future Tisha. And as we say goodbye, but again, let me know down below in the comments, if you really want to see those other pieces of my collection. Um, I I'm okay if you don't too, but if you know, if you're really dying to see what hand soaps I have or wall plugs or just how I store everything, let me know because you know I don't mind to share anything with you guys. All right, talk to you soon. All right, you guys, that is it. So that is all of my stuff, all of my scrubs, body washes, and my shower gels. I have a lot. Um, that was funny because that was how I felt at the beginning of the project. Use it up. So my winter edition was shower gel heavy. 
and I'm almost done with them, but I'm almost out of time. And I feel like I just used a couple too many products because I'm like, I went through like 10 shower gels in two months. That's a lot. But um, I'm going to keep those up because that's a really good way to rotate your collection. I really hope that you all will join me when we start the spring edition. Um, I have some new categories. I can't wait to bring it to you. But that is it. That is the shower gel collection. I've given you candles, perfume, fine fragrance mist, and body cream and lotion, and now shower gel. So that's everything. Um, but, you know, since it took me so many videos, I think that means I'm kind of a hoarder. Um, so help me use it up. You guys keep me, um, committed in the comments, keep me accountable in the comments and share down below, you know, anything that you kind of felt during these videos, because again, sometimes people love or hate collection videos. Sometimes they love or hate declutters, but these videos, I try to make a wide variety because I love watching all of them. I love watching collection videos. I love watching declutters. I really can't get enough. So I'm making all of them for you. Um, but yeah, I would love to know your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys in a video probably tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.